Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. Today we are talking about staging. Y'all know that I mostly deal in smalls and sell smalls and whether you are selling out your house or at a booth or online, you have to know how to stage your items in a way that will catch a buyer's attention and also get the most money possible for your item. So I feel like there is a few things you should keep on hand to stage your items. And it is totally okay. Actually, I would say it's better if you use the same items over and over again to stage your pieces in the same area. That way, the buyers will start to recognize your, your staging and your pictures. Like I follow people on Instagram or even in the Julie's Designs and Signs Facebook group that I don't even need to look at their name. I'll see the picture and I know exactly who created that piece because their staging is so good and so consistent that it's kind of become sort of their brand. And I would like to think that my staging is the same way. I use a lot of the same pieces and I feel like if you saw a picture of one of my smalls that I was trying to sell, you would know immediately that it was from Julie's Designs Designs without even putting any kind of branding on it. And that's what you want. You want it to become noticeable and recognizable to your customers. And as you can see in the background, these are just the items that I stage with and they look so good together already without even having any pieces that are for sale. So I wanna go over a few things that I think that you should keep on hand when staging. I would say the first thing is some risers because say you have multiple items, you wanna be able to put them at different heights. It just makes for a better picture, a better look, um, and that's what we're going for. The better it looks, the more expensive it looks and we all want our items to sell for more money. So I just keep some books. These are just paper bag books that I just took the um, binding off of, but I usually stage it this way with the book paper. Super simple. You can do antique books if you want, but I like to keep my staging items very neutral. That way the piece that is actually for sale stands out a little bit more. So paper bag books, number one. And then I have this little gray tray right here that I can turn this way if I want to rise it up a little bit or I could turn this way if I want it to set in it. Very neutral, I just did the gray cement look on this and I just keep this for my staging pieces. And then let's see what else we got. Oh, we have, this is just from the Target dollar spot. It's just a little riser, but it's perfect if I just wanna lift some little items up and it doesn't take away from my pieces. And also I kept one of these small wood risers that I make with the little spindle feet. This is so perfect, once again, just to lift something up and just give it more visual interest. Next, you want some textiles to kind of soften up your pieces. So I always look for really cute linens at the thrift store. It doesn't even matter if it has like some stains on it because you can fold it in a way that you won't see it. So this is linen with some fringe, so cute actually a tablecloth. I've never used it as a tablecloth. I just use it, you know, when I make ladders and stuff like that, just to hang over them. Very, very pretty. So be on the lookout for some great linens when you're out thrifting to keep to accessorize. Now, this is just a piece of fabric. So I love ticking stripe. It definitely goes with the look I have going on. So you just need a small little swatch of ticking fabric. And look, you can just stick it in like that. How cute does that look? You know, so much better than if you just had this piece with nothing in it. I also have this cute little tea towel. So if you come across tea towels in a very neutral color, I would definitely pick one of those up just to keep with you so you can accessorize with. And then I use this probably the most, wooden utensils. They just look so pretty in absolutely everything. They're very traditional, but also farmhouse look. I love them. And if you don't find them out thrifting, they are super cheap at the stores. Something new that I've added to my staging collection is these blessing beads. People just love them. Just a natural wood look. So I have to say it does look very good when staging. So that's a newer piece to my collection. Greenery. Of course we need greenery. 
So lamb's ear is my favorite. I don't feel like you need all kind of different greeneries. I feel like lamb's ear goes with everything. You can just stick it in a pitcher. It also looks really good with the wooden spoons if you want to stick them in there. It just looks so good with anything. These actually come from Walmart if you can find them. Just get you a few little sprays of lamb's ear or you know you can go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels. If you're going to use it for staging then I think it is worth it to splurge on some nicer floral that you're going to keep to stage your pieces. Also glassware is very pretty to having your staging pictures because they just reflect the light and look really nice. This is just an old jar that I put some floral in. That's it, some little baby's breath. And then a little wreath. I always find uses for the small wreath. And I believe you can get some of these at Joann's Fabrics. They're just perfect to like hang on something because <laughs> I always tell my customers that the best way to use something is just to hang a wreath on it. So I always like to hang a wreath on it to show them how to use it. They've tried to buy this tiny wreath many times. So if you can find these for a good deal, then I would pick them up because the, this size is hard to find and my customers always want to buy it. Okay, next we need some cute little accessories. So I have this little faux cement bird that I use all the time. And y'all know how I feel about brass. So you've probably seen me style with this a bunch of times. These brass swans right here. How cute are these? And if you have some of this stuff to actually sell, I would definitely use it when staging your pieces because a lot of times people like the whole setup and they'll buy the whole thing. Just make sure you know you keep some of your items for staging. But if you have some of this for sale, I would definitely recommend that, especially these glass pieces because once a customer sees it all staged together, you could get more money for it. Like you probably couldn't get a whole lot for this by itself, but if you staged it beautifully with other glass pieces and other items that a customer would think would just look good on their shelf and they can buy the whole setup, that definitely happens. It happens. And then I like to keep some fake fruit. These are just some yellow pears. I think a pop of yellow with the color scheme I have going on always looks good. And you can get these at any of your craft stores. And then I also like having just a simple white pitcher. It just looks really pretty when I need to add some height to one of my pictures. Now, what to take pictures on. So I actually went in my shop this morning and made this bench right here. It's just a simple white bench and it's perfect it's nice and long it gets my stuff off the ground and it's just neutral and then i put it up against my shiplap wall so you don't need a huge space to stage your items just get you like a simple background just make you a little bench or something and then you can just put your pieces on there I mean, if you already have a piece of furniture in your house that is working, that is great. I personally don't, and sometimes I stage in my house, but I prefer to have a little something over here so I'm not moving around my personal items to stage my pieces. So for me, this is going to be absolutely perfect. I can bring it with me to the new house and everything and stage, have a place to stage my pieces. And it only took me a few minutes to make this. It just has a some legs at the bottom and then I just put three pieces of wood on top and it was as easy as that. And this is all you need. So we're not staging like a whole bookshelf or a whole shelf. You just want like a little square area to be able to stage your smalls. Okay, so let's stage something real quick. So let's say you have a set of three canisters. These are very plain and white. So the first thing I would do is definitely want to elevate one of them. So let's put that here. And we'll put the bigger one here. And then we'll grab this smaller one that has some greenery. And we want to make the greenery a little bit smaller. So you want to make sure, you know, the height on everything is right. There. That looks better. And then... Why don't we take this little tea towel and kind of add some interest to the bigger one. And 
looking at my items, see what I got. Okay, we need this little bird right here. And let's see, what about a piece of greenery in the back? Just to bring this out. So, I still feel like the canisters are the main thing here. Let's pick out some of these, that's too many. So you're still showcasing your canisters, but doesn't this look so much nicer than just taking a picture of the canisters? And then you kind of showing your customer ways that they could also bring it home and set it up. It's definitely something that takes a little bit of practice, but I think it would be less overwhelming if you got a few items, like I recommended that you kept and just use those pieces to stage. And if you are uncertain, you can always look at what other people are doing and kind of copy that until you come up with your own style. And if you have an entire booth to stage, what I would recommend is breaking it up into smaller little areas so it's not as overwhelming. So start in one area, create a very pleasing display, little vignette of items. I would definitely get some of these items, put price tags on everything. Even if you're selling your floral and your tea towels, just for like a dollar more than what you paid for it, the look it will give to your booth will be worth it. Do not put anything in your booth that is not for sale. Have everything for sale, but just make sure it's displayed in a pleasing way. And like I said, just break it up into little areas, concentrate on one little shelf at a time, get it to look pretty, put like items together, make sure they're elevated at different heights. I mean, these little book sets, like you don't even have to do anything to them. Just leave them exactly like this, put a piece of twine on them, put them for sale for like a couple dollars, it's going to make everything look so much better. I sell my floral and everything all the time and I just add a few dollars to it. It's going to make your booth look better, it's going to make it more inviting, and it's going to end up making you more money because somebody's gonna walk in and they're gonna be like, oh, I need this whole setup, I just gotta put it in my shopping cart, go home and put it on my shelf. And just like with anything else, the more you do it, the better you will get at it. So grab a few of these items that are recommended and just start playing around with your pieces. If you stage them better, I think you will see an increase in your sales and an increase in interest in your items. And hopefully you can get it to the point where, like I said, people start to recognize your pictures and immediately associate them with your business. Um, and if you want some examples, at the end of all of my thrift live videos, I always do a nicely staged video of all my pieces. And from all my reselling experience, I have found that customers really like when you show them exactly what to do with an item. Not everybody has the imagination or the design skills to be able to, you know, put pieces together. So when you can kind of take some of the work away from them, they really love that. And I, I find that, that things have sold much better since I started staging them nicely. And like I said, you do not need a big area, just a small little place like this to take a nice little picture, make sure you have some good lighting, and that is all you need. I hope y'all found this video very informative. Y'all have been asking me to do this one for a while. If you have any questions about staging, just leave it in the comment below and I will do my best to answer all of y'all questions. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching and give this video a big